Ladies and gentlemen, today is about connections. Connections with and from our past, and connections to and for our future. Thank you. Now, as we shift into the next piece of this, bittersweet is just the right word. This is more than a change of command. This is a chance to see Dave Buss wind up what has been a stellar Navy career a prodigious achievement of an indelible footprints all over the world. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Distinguished Service Medal, Gold Star, in lieu of second award to Vice Admiral David H. Buss, United States Navy, for services set forth in the following citation. For exceptionally meritorious service to the government of the United States and duties of great responsibility while serving as Commander, Naval Air Forces, and Commander, Naval Air Force, Pacific from September 2012 to January 2015, displaying extraordinary strategic vision, analytical insight, and inspirational leadership, Vice Admiral Buss provided combat-ready warships and aircraft to combatant commanders by effectively manning, training, and equipping 10 aircraft carriers, 10 carrier air wings, 170 squadrons, and more than 100,000 personnel. By his superior leadership, wise judgment, and deep devotion to duty, Vice Admiral Buss reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service for the President, Ray Mavis, Secretary of the Navy. The Commander, U.S. Pacific Fleet, takes pleasure in presenting the Superior Civilian Service Award to Mrs. Donna Buss for services as set forth in the following citation. As the Commander, Naval Air Force's spouse representative, her focus has been on spouse education and mentorship. She visited Pacific Fleet Aviation Type Wings, engaging the family support system to include morale, welfare, and recreation facilities, child care, and family housing. Given this 22nd day of January 2015, Harry B. Harris, Jr., Admiral, U.S. Navy, Commander, U.S. Pacific Fleet. Friends and neighbors of mine going all the way back to high school, classmates from the great class of 1978 at the United States Naval Academy, and as anyone who really knows will freely admit, the last class to truly have a plebe year. Formation commander, place the formation at attention. CNO order number 3474 for Vice Admiral David H. Buss, United States Navy. Detach in January 2015 from duty as Commander Naval Air Forces and Commander Naval Air Force Pacific Fleet. You're relieved of all active duty as of 2400 hours, February 28th, 2015. I turn over an aviation force today of which I am and you should be very, very proud. Not only do we continue to excel in combat and have so continuously for the past 13 plus years, but we continue to set the conditions on a strategic playing field for decades of future success as a warfighting force through our unprecedented transition into new and ever increasingly capable aircraft, manned and unmanned alike, and our next generation aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford. I will now read my orders. CNO order number 3465 for Vice Admiral Troy M. Shoemaker, United States Navy. When directed by reporting senior, detach from Commander Naval Air Force Atlantic and report to Commander Naval Air Forces for duty in a flying status as his relief. I'm incredibly honored and humbled by the opportunity to fleet up and take over as your new air boss. My tour at Airland and the chance to work closely with Dave has given me a unique perspective and understanding of our aviation community and type commander responsibilities that an incoming air boss has not had since Admiral Zortman fleeted up from Airland nearly 10 years ago. 
and I will work tire tirelessly to ensure our Naval Aviation Forces remain the preeminent fighting force for our nation. I'm here to say the watch stands relieved, relieved by those you have trained, guided, and led. Dad, I have the watch. Admiral Buss will now present his sword to his son, Lieutenant J.G. Matthew Buss. Vice Admiral, United States Navy, retired, departing. <laughs> 